previous video talked about a binary weighted summer digital to analog converter. Here we're going to talk about an R to R ladder digital to analog converter or DAC. And obviously the name here because we only have two resistors that are input to R and R. Now the output from this configuration, this DAC, is again governed by K times the B reference as well as uh, the bits B1, B2, B3, and B4 all over 8, which is the same output that we get from our binary weighted summer. However, the analysis is more complicated, so be forewarned that the uh, analysis trying to find V1, V2, V3, and V4 contribution at the output using superposition gets a little complicated. So if, let me first give you the bottom line results and then I'll do the analysis next. So here let's uh, give you some bottom line results. For, first let's look at V1 connected to high which implies that B1 is 1 and the rest are still connected to ground which implies B2, B3, and B4 is equal to 0 in this example. Now the contribution due to the voltage V1 is governed by V1 divided by 2R. So the voltage across this 2R resistor, V1 is the other end and zeros at the other end uh, of 2R. And the reason why is because we could see that our inverting input is equal to our non-inverting input for an ideal op amp but the non-inverting input is connected to ground so our non-inverting input is also connected to the ground or virtual ground so this is zero volts at the other end of 2R so the voltage across this 2R resistor is V1 and the current we'll call this the short circuit current 1 and that's the contribution of the total current ISC due to each of the voltage inputs. So we have ISC1, ISC2, ISC3, and ISC4. Those are the current contributions. But now for V1, it's uh, V1 divided by 2R, that's the contribution due to V1, and that current is ISC1. And we'll show and this is where the analysis gets complicated, where V2 divided by 4R is the contribution of ISC2. And it seems obvious, but the analysis is a little bit more, uh, like I said, complicated. So ISC3 is V3 divided by 8R. And then you could see the pattern, ISC4, it's V4 divided by 16R. So you could see that the currents are binary weighted. Now the total current from all these four inputs, this 4-bit DAC is ISC1 plus ISC2 plus ISC3 plus ISC4 and that's equal to negative IO since we applied the KCL at this virtual ground. So ISC is equal to IO. I put IF here but they're the same thing. That's equal to minus IO which is, turns out to be that the voltage across this feedback resistor, that's why I named this IF, but I'll call this IO in this equation, it's negative VO divided by RF. And we note that VK is equal to BK times V reference because this, this B1, B2, B3, B4 switch controls, it, it controls this uh, voltage input is either to be a, either connected to V reference or ground, so one of these two values. And that's how you get the VO output due to these four binary inputs. And in this case you could see that I define B1 as 1, B2 is 0, B3 is 0 as well as B4 being 0. Now we're gonna look at the contribution due to V2 then V3 then V4. Again the analysis gets kinda unwieldy but I think if you hang in there you'll see the pattern. Now we're gonna take a look at the contribution due to V2. So that means that we connect V2 to V reference and every other input right here 
v1, v3, and v4 are set equal to 0. Now to analyze the contribution of v2 at the output, let me redraw the circuit. So here we have v2. At the other end of v2 is v2 prime, I'll call it. And basically that's our input voltage to this inverting uh, summer for uh, v2. Now connected to v2 is R, but that's connected to ground, and that's why I denote this as A right here. Now let's look at the other side. Uh, we have another R, so that's here, and that's connected to ground right here, and that's because V3 is connected to ground. And then we have V4 connected to ground, but before it does that it goes through R, and then V4 is connected to ground and then we have another 2R resistor connected to ground so that's what this circuit looks like alright so we're going to try to evaluate V2 prime but first let's do some equivalent so we see here and here this is 2R connected in parallel with 2R and we know that the equivalent resistance is R but this equivalent resistance of R is connected in series with this R so that's 2R. So now we have 2R in this leg of these three combination of resistors. But this 2R now is connected in parallel with this 2R, so hence that this resistor network or combination is equal to R. Now we note that all this stuff is equal to R is connected in series with R right here. So now we have 2R in parallel with this R. So this R right here is connected to 2R in parallel and that yields 2 thirds R. Now we can use the voltage divider since we know all this resistance right here is 2 thirds R. So therefore V2 prime is just V2 times 2 thirds R times the sum of those two resistors 2R and here two-thirds R. Doing a little bit of algebra we find that it's V2 divided by 4. So the contribution current ISE2 is just V2 divided by 4R. Hence so far what we've evaluated is ISE1 plus ISE2 which is equal to V1 over 2 plus V2 over 4. So you can see the pattern here and on the next video I'll conclude the analysis where V3 and V4 is contributed at the output using superposition but you'll see that V1 plus V2 and plus V3 divided by 8 and you'll see that it's V4 divided by 16 and then when you, we reduce this it's going to look like this equation right here Alright, so the next video will describe the current contribution as well as the voltage contribution due to B3 and B4, or V3 and V4.